Welcome back to the farm. So, uh, does anybody know what I have in my hand here? Some of you are right. This is a drain container for draining some kind of liquid, more likely oil, from a vehicle or equipment. And today, we got to service the Kubota. So, I'm coming out here. I've got to feed all the animals, but... Um, normally about once a year I try to service all our vehicles um, unless we use it way more than often um, you guys know we got two Kubota tractors and today what we're gonna be doing is changing the oil and the air filters on our Kubota M59 now we'll talk a little bit more about this when we get started in it but this is one way you can save a lot of money and make sure your equipment is maintained properly so I'm not going to talk about all that right now I've got a lot of hungry mouths and a bunch of loud mouths sitting here waiting for me to uh, get them some food so let's go feed all the animals check on everybody and we'll come back and we'll talk more about the tractor I've got to fix something else that broke too so stay tuned for that all right chickens the faster you get out of my way the faster I can feed you guys all right so you guys know um, we did turn out our Spanish and our Kiko goats onto bigger pastures. So I am slowly starting to uh, slow down the feed rate that we're feeding them because now they're on uh, you know pretty much full greens. They get tons of weeds and grass and leaves and all that. The trees are really coming on with leaves. So these guys, or girls, are getting their bellies full of all the good veggies and stuff. The dogs, we always feed the dogs the same, but the goats, we are starting to uh, wean them down just a little bit. They are still um, nursing. There's a lot of the mamas that are nursing, but they're starting to, uh, just starting to wean off their, some of their kids. Come on, goats. I think I might me feed them. I usually feed the dogs first, but the goats are sitting here staring at me. So. I'm going to put this dog food up here and the chickens will spill it all. Little piece, but look at all that green. Green in the trees, green on the ground. There's so much I can't keep up with it. You know, we, we have a nice ratio of uh, pasture to goats. You can run way more heads of goats than you can cattle on an acre of land. So, all right, I think I got them now. Let's go feed the dogs. See if I can do this one handed. Of course, the dogs get their eggs every day. You know, Miss Cora. There you go. Hey, Skitty. Hey, nice. The goats are starting to eat your food. There you go, buddy. All right. Get out of the feed bowl. <laughs> Thank you, Skeeter. Skeeter takes them off. Unless you run out that door. So, I'm starting to cut down how much I'm feeding the adults, but the kid goats still have their creep feeder right out there and that stays full they got 24 7 access to the creep feed and they're still drinking the milk from their mamas so there's that um already topped off their water earlier they got nice fresh water and uh dogs are looking good doing a good job protecting everybody from predators so uh let's move on to the next ones chickens are chasing bugs in the yard Alright, got Mojo's food. Alright, chickens, let's go. Pack, pack. Here you go, eat. Come on. Mojo! Come on, boy. Mojo, come on. Let's go eat. He's over there laying in the shade. It's a hot spring day. Come on, Mo. Mojo, come on. Ah. 
Come on. Well, I guess Mojo's not hungry yet. He's not coming to dinner, so I'll just come back out and feed him in a little bit. But, uh, see, my big birds are uh, hungry. They're always hungry. They muse. See Yoshi over there, Yoneg, everybody else. It is a windy day. So, uh, bear with me. So, don't get me wrong. Um, I enjoy doing service on my own equipment. Um, it's hard to find places to take your equipment to where um, it's not super expensive for labor and uh, all the charges that come with the shop fees and stuff like that. So anything you can do yourself that you feel comfortable doing, you're going to save money and more than likely you're going to know that it's done right. Um, I know the first time I got a tractor, um, first tractor we got was a Kubota L3300, it's a 35 horse tractor. You know, it's very intimidating um, the first time you go to change the oil on them yourself or replace parts and stuff like that. But from my experience, guys, if you just get in there and do it, you can almost YouTube, you can get on YouTube and you can almost learn how to do any type of service, any kind of repairs or maintenance on just about any type of tractor or vehicle. So what we're talking about today is the Kubota M59. Um, I order all my parts from Masics.com. Um, I'll try to put a link down in the description. I am not affiliated or sponsored by them by any means, but I've owned tractors for many, many years now, and uh, finding parts and stuff sometimes could be a pain back in the day, but once I found Masics' website, they have a diagram where you can put in Kubota M59 and search on their website, and it will break it down by category on a diagram of this tractor so if you're needing something for the seat you can click on the seat and it will have every single part with part numbers on there and prices they make it super easy to order from um the last thing i've ordered from them was last year if you guys have been watching us for a while we had this tractor down at the waterfront property and i had a couple of the valve controls in here uh, one of them just came broke it just broke come in half and uh, I was able to order all that and fix it. They make stuff super easy and uh, their uh, customer support is top notch as well. I've actually ordered a lot of parts on there but I ain't gonna go into all that. But today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be replacing the oil filter, draining the oil and uh, filling it back up. And then I got some air filters to uh, change as well. Now, I don't change the air filters every time I change the oil. I don't even do that on my vehicles. Not unless they're dirty. That is one thing where auto shops and stuff will take advantage of you. Um, I think mostly like women and elderly, they always try to make a few extra dollars off of stuff that doesn't necessarily need to be fixed. In um, this case, like the air filters. <laughs> Um, the reason I'm changing the air filters on this today, I haven't even looked at them yet, but I haven't changed them since I've owned it. Um, they look good when I first got it, so I just didn't change them. But I've been using this thing here recently this year. I've, re I've uh, burnt two big burn piles, big old brush piles with them. And I use this grapple to push up that brush and stuff. And when you do that, this thing sucks up a lot of air. And when you're around all them, uh, 
all that smoke and stuff it sucks up a lot of that right here into this air intake and uh, it goes right in here and it goes right into this filter right here and then it goes down into your engine so I can only imagine that that's probably pretty dirty I don't know how dirty it is but if it's even a little bit dirty it can restrict airflow and this thing has a turbo on it so it's super important that it gets fresh clean air and enough of it so <clears throat> I'm gonna quit gabbing I'm gonna go uh, into the shop now I'm gonna show you some of the parts I got now let me talk about the part that is broke and uh, if you guys seen the video that I was burning the brush pile down at the waterfront property, you probably seen me messing with the seat a lot. So this right here is a latch that unlocks the seat so it can swivel around 360 degrees, or actually 180 degrees. But uh, this right here, you can see this goes right here, you pull this, and it's just a cable system that unlocks the lever underneath the seat. Well, this little plastic piece is the original part, and it just broke off. So. I was trying to figure out a way to fix it. I couldn't figure out a way to fix it. I tried and uh, just keep bending this little ear right here. So I just got online on uh, Masix, got on the diagram. I found the part I needed. So we're gonna go in the shop and I'll show you what all I got. And you can get all your fluids. You can get all your transmission fluids, your oil, your filters, all that type of stuff on there as well. It'll even tell you the, like the oil capacity that your uh, engine crankcase will hold. I mean, great website. So you can see there, I got some of the oil down there. I got my funnel. Here is that little cable I just showed you. This is a brand new part. And these are Kubota parts. These are not Amazon or eBay Chinese knockoffs. These are the original Kubota parts that you can get from Matrix. And in here, we have the uh, air filters. There's an inner and an outer air filter. And their filter will have a big one and a, uh, this is the outer one right there. But all original Kubota parts, and the cool thing about Masix is they don't raise the prices like a lot of the other places do. So enough gabbing, let's grab this, get out there. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the oil, take the oil filter off, put the new oil filter on, and then uh, refill the fluids, and then we'll change the air filters. So anytime you're working around or under any type of large equipment like this, Safety first. This thing, if it moved and accidentally rolled over on you, you're toast. There is no getting up from this hardly. So you want to make sure, in this case, I got my bucket down. I've got my emergency brake set. So this thing is not going to move any which direction. Make sure you're on level ground as well. So what am I draining the oil in? I just picked this up today from Walmart. It's hard to find these things big enough to hold enough oil. Sometimes you'll find them and it only hold like a gallon or a gallon and a half. This one actually holds 16 quarts. So it's gonna hold all the capacity that I got in there. So I made the mistake one time, make sure this thing is tight because if it's not, it's gonna leak out. Make sure this is loose. This allows all the oil to run down in there. Just put that underneath there. Okay, so I'm underneath the tractor and one thing on these 4x4 Kubotas is this oil pan right here actually has two drain bolts. So my L3300 is the same way. It'll have a drain bolt on this side and a drain bolt on this side. And you want to go ahead and drain both sides. Do not drain one side and not the other. We're gonna have a bunch of old oil that's in this side of the pan and all this will be fresh and you don't wanna mix that. <clears throat>
Okay, while all your engine oil is draining out, you can go ahead and come over here and remove your oil filter. <clears throat> And always make sure to clean off around the housing because that dirt likes to collect right there and uh, you want to make sure you get a good seal so your filter don't leak. And uh, I always like to take a little bit of the oil <clears throat> and rub on this seal right here. Don't ever put this on dry. And then some on the threads. And just hand tighten your filter back on. Once your oil pan is completely drained, inspect your drain plug bolt to make sure your washer is still on and in good shape. Once your engine is drained completely of oil, put your drain plugs back in. And as you can see, I removed the side cover of my engine for easier access. And the fill tube is right here. And save your jug so you can uh, dispose of your old oil properly. Okay, the oil's done, and just a quick reminder, when you think it's full, you got that oil capacity in there, go ahead and start it up, let it run for 30 seconds or so, shut it off, and then check it and make sure that it is right on the dipstick. So now, we're gonna check the air filters. I have a bad feeling that these are uh, way overdue for replacement. And let's see if we can get to the other side. Taking that uh, engine cover to side off, Makes it a lot easier for access to this. I don't know if I can do this one handed or not. Let's see here.
Okay, so I just pulled this whole assembly out and as you can see, there's an outer and an inner filter. Now, the outer filter is pretty dirty, not too bad. Uh, the inner filter don't look too bad at all. You see it's kind of kind of dusty, so definitely time to change them. So I'll show you the difference between new and old. When you're using these tractors, um, like when you're brush hogging or working in a very dusty environment, or in my case, I burn a lot of brush piles, that engine, it takes a lot of air, so it's just, it's gonna suck up a ton. And here's the uh, small one. Just like that. And when you're putting the cover back on, this does have a top and a bottom, this right here. If you ever get water or anything in there, this will allow it to drain. So make sure you follow the directions on that. Pretty simple. Okay, now that that's done, let's replace this bad cable on the seat. So it's replaced. Let's make sure it works. So you pull this up and it releases that lever under the seat. Good as new. So there you go. Now you know how to 
change your air filters change the oil on your tractor it's really not hard just basic tools and a little bit of knowledge or some youtube videos and you'll have it figured out i even replaced that cable on the seat just took a few minutes and uh now i can uh, make sure this thing's ready to go all summer long springtime summertime is usually when we put this thing to work and i know now i can rest assured that the kubota is going to keep going um, these are great machines as long as you do the maintenance on them they won't let you down so another thing guys I, I talked a little bit about this earlier besides saving money by doing this stuff yourself it actually teaches you how to work on things if you're in the field using this equipment or this tractor or whatever and something's messing up or something's not quite right you know you feel a little bit better about trying to diagnose the problem yourself or maybe even fixing it yourself you know little things to look for you you get familiar with your machine <clears throat> and uh it gives me something to do and i don't mind getting my hands dirty at all um, i enjoy this type of stuff and uh you know it's done right um i i'm not dogging anybody any mechanics or nothing like that but sometimes it's hard to find people that you can trust to work on stuff like this and vehicles tractors, and stuff like this is very expensive so anything you can do yourself at home safely um with confidence i recommend doing so anyways guys thanks so much for watching this video subscribe for more videos down the road and uh, like this video leave a comment do you guys change the oil on your own vehicles your tractors your equipment i want to hear some stuff so uh thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one